Thanks for tuning in to Music and Movement. This is our last program of our summer series. So, wow. <laughs> like, it's flown by. We have done uh, seven videos. This is our seventh one. And man, it has just been so much fun putting this stuff together for you guys. Been very different, really crazy uh, here at the library, but fun and really cool. And I hope you guys have been enjoying it. Um, we're gonna get started with Can You Sing High? I'm gonna put the words up on the screen. Um, last reminder on this, uh, the words on the left are that are underlined in black are my part, and the words that are on the right that are highlighted are your part, and so you echo after me, and I'll sing, can you sing high, and then you sing, I can sing high, I sing, can you sing low, you sing, I can sing low, you know, just like that. Uh, you sing fast, fast, you sing slow, slow, and at the end, uh, whenever I sing, are you ready, are you ready? Are you set? All set. I'll sing, let's go. And loud as you can, you say, let's go. I want to hear you all the way from the library. Okay? All right, let's give it a try. Ready? Can you sing high? fun uh, good job guys and uh, yeah so now we're gonna put up some announcements not much left uh, we've got our story time videos tomorrow uh, in English and Spanish then we've got um, on Wednesday is actually our end party and so stay tuned for that that should be a lot of fun and yeah we're just winding up the year we're or, or the summer, rather. We're done with uh, this series of programming. And so um, before we continue, I just want to say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Uh, parents, specifically, if you guys have learned um, hopefully anything, it's that even if you mess up, because I do it a lot, even if you feel like you're not an expert in something, in this time where you know, you've know you got to do a lot of stuff at home and find things to engage your kids and uh, ways to educate and all that kind of stuff. Go for it. They'll they soak up so much. They uh, they try so hard. As long as you're trying hard and doing everything you can um, to do the best you can, then you know kids feed off of that. And we're excited to bring that kind of programming to you guys. And we hope that you guys can uh, then do that same kind of stuff at home. So uh, we're glad that we've been able to do it this summer through the videos. Um, Feel free to keep sharing these, uh, keep people in this group uh, as long as it's open. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching this whole summer and we're gonna continue on with our last video here. So my first song is If You're Happy and You Know It. And so uh, everybody stand up, get ready to do some clapping and some stomping and some shouting hooray and lots of smiles for being happy, okay? Ready? Thank you. 
that song makes me happy. I'm, it's it's fun to play. It's fun to jump around and uh, do the clapping and the stomping. So I hope you guys are having fun with that one at home. Okay, next one we're gonna do. I'm a little teapot. So stay standing, and um, we do two verses here at the library. We do a verse where you make yourself a teapot, and then the second verse you stay like that, and then we're gonna turn around. Okay, so just follow along, and here we go. Do -do -do. If I can remember what key it's in. Clever teapot and turn ourselves around, okay? I'm a clever teapot, yes, it's true. Let me show you what I can do. I can turn my handle into a spout. Turn around, tip me over and forth me out. Good job. That one's always fun, right? Um, okay, so now this next song. Uh, it's our big kid song for today, and it's called Don't Throw Your Junk in My Backyard. And it's just a silly song. It's got lots of different verses that aren't really related to each other. Um, and so I'm going to put those up on the screen, and I'll walk you through them one at a time, and I'll show you something really cool you can do with them. Okay? So, <laughs> the first part is Don't Throw Your Junk in My Backyard. And it sounds like this. Don't throw your junk in my backyard, my backyard. Pretty simple little little tune. Now for the next verse, we're gonna change it up just a little bit. Okay, it sounds almost the same, but it's a little different. Okay, let's see if you can spot the differences. This is fish and chips and vinegar, and that's a, a British way to say um, fried fish and French fries, and uh, they put vinegar on it. And it tastes pretty good. It's a little different, but it tastes good. Okay, sounds like this. Fish and chips and vinegar. salt. I messed up with my hands here a little bit. Pepper, 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 salt. So yeah, that's that verse. It's a little different, but it starts kind of the same and it ends on the same note. It's similar, okay? Now this one is my favorite verse because it's super easy, super simple. Um, it's like a bass line, and so it's a little lower than the other parts, but you really only sing two notes and you just have to know when to change. And it kind of makes sense once you sing it a few times, okay? This is one bottle of pop, two bottle of pop, all the way up to seven bottle of pop, and then you need to go pop, okay? Sounds like this. One bottle of pop, two bottle of pop, three bottle of pop, four bottle of pop, five bottle of pop, six bottle of pop, seven bottle of pop, pop. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so now the cool thing you can do is you can put all those verses together and sing them at the same time. And that's called harmony. And it's really fun with, um, with a bunch of people. And so you can hear people singing your part and it's easy to stay on it. Then you hear people singing the other parts and it all blends together. So what I want you guys to do is take one of those parts that I just taught you and then sing it while I play all three parts. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, choose, I'm gonna choose the first verse, the, the don't throw your junk in my backyard. Okay, so I'll sing that, but I'm gonna play all three. And uh, you guys have seen me make plenty of mistakes on the piano, so get ready to see a few more. Okay? Ready? Don't throw your junk in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My, my backyard. My, my backyard. Don't throw your junk in my backyard. My backyard's full. All right. So, um, now with our uh, instrument lesson, we're gonna move to a really cool instrument. It's a lot of fun and it's kind of hard. I saved the best for last in a way. Um, this is the ukulele. And it looks a lot like a guitar. Okay, so ukuleles are cool. We, had, uh, we got 
a few of these, um, I think we have nine, that uh, we've made available or will we prepared to make available for checkout. And then right before we started doing some lessons and some other cool stuff with them, the coronavirus pandemic hit. So we're looking at ways to get these back into the rotation, ways to um, maybe implement the lessons with the people who signed up and uh, see what that program can look like going forward. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But these, um, for this video, I can kind of show you a little bit about it and maybe get you interested in it. You can maybe go get your own. And then uh, there are lots of videos on YouTube. And like I said, we might put some videos out. Uh, it just kind of depends on what looks best for the fall. And uh, then you can learn how to play a new instrument. And it's really fun. So this is a special kind of ukulele. It's a baritone ukulele. And that just means a, a few things. It means it's bigger. And so because of that, it makes lower sounds. And it also means that it's more like a guitar than the other ones. So all of them are like a guitar because they have these strings. A big difference is that this has, maybe you can see, one, two, three, four strings. And the guitar has six, usually. And so this uh, instrument is different from the other ukuleles because its strings are the same as, <clears throat> excuse me, as the guitar, at least as the top four strings. And so this is a good introduction to the guitar because your fingers will go in the same place, you'll call the chords the same names, all that stuff. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that. So the way it works is I have these strings and when I pluck them, they make sounds. And I can scrape my fingers across or I can use a pick and it makes the strings vibrate, which makes the air inside the guitar or ukulele, which is um, called a resonating chamber, this whole big box. It makes that vibrate and that's what makes the sound that goes into your ears. And then I can change the pitches more by, uh, I change, I move these tuning pegs to make sure that they start in the right place. And then I can change them by pushing on this up here. This is called the fretboard. And all these little lines here, the spaces between them are called frets. And so if I push down on the frets, the finger gets tight and it gets short and that makes it make higher sounds. And so I can use that to play lots of different pitches. On the piano, if I do, if I play all the keys, if I play the white ones and the black ones and I play them, the ones that are right next to each other, they go, it's, it's called um, half steps, semitones, chromatic. And it does like this. Okay, and I can play the same notes on the ukulele if I use every single fret starting at the top and moving down to the bottom, like this. See? And so if I know where to put my fingers, then I can make lots of cool sounds. I'm going to show you a few of those today. So on a baritone ukulele, if it's tuned D, G, B, E, the way that most of them are, you can play a G chord if you put your finger on this third fret on the top string. And when I say top, it's actually on the bottom of the guitar. But when I look down at it, it looks like this is the bottom. It looks like this is the top because my head's upside down. So we call this the top string. It also makes the highest sounds, so it's called the top string. Okay? Now if I play all the, uh, all the strings, it sounds like this. And it's a G chord. Okay, so we're going to use that one today. Then, I'm going to put my finger on the second fret on the bottom string, and then on the first fret on the third string, okay? And that is a C chord, okay? And that works really well with G. So there's the C, or the G, and then the C. I'm also going to just take this one away and leave this finger on the second fret of the first of the bottom string and that's going to play E minor. I'm going to use E minor today. And then um, if I make kind of a triangle over here on these top three strings and I have on the second string the second fret, the third string, the first fret, and then the top string the second fret like that. Maybe you can see that. It's kind of weird. That's going to be a D7 chord. 
And that chord's really good because it makes your ear really want to hear that next G chord. Okay? So we're going to use those four. G, C, E minor, D7, and that's it. And we're going to use those to play a song that most of you guys probably have heard before. We sing it in story time sometimes. And I'm going to do something different with my right hand. I'm going to do something, uh, rather than just strum the chords, I'm going to pluck. Just like that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are And so it takes a little bit of practice to get used to, but um, the more you mess with it, the easier it gets. This is a great introduction to guitar because you've only got four strings to worry about. It's better for smaller hands, like if you have small hands or if you're a kid. Um, the strings are a little softer than a traditional like steel string guitar. And so um, this is a really good instrument to learn. I'm going to play one more song for you, but rather than uh, have you watch me play it, I've got some illustrations to a really cool story that uh, I'm going to show you. And this, this story is in a Spanish style, and so you're going to hear lots of minor sounds. Uh, it's in a minor key. It's an E minor instead of G major like the song we just played. And you're going to hear some bass strumming like that. It's going to be super cool. Okay? Stay tuned. Oh, I will tell you, I'll warn you, um, not to spoil anything. This story gets a little sad, but stay in there. Hang in there. It gets better at the end. Okay? Enjoy. El Señor Don Gato was a cat On a high red roof one night he sat He went there to read a letter Meow, meow, meow Where the reading light was better Meow, meow, meow T'was a love note for Don Gato In spite of everything they tried, poor Senor Don Gato up and died. And it wasn't very merry, meow, 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 going to the cemetery, meow, meow, meow. It 
was the end for poor Don Gatto. As the funeral passed the market square, such a smell of fish was in the air. Though the burial was slated, meow, 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 he became reanimated, meow, meow, meow. He came back to Well, yeah, Don Gatto made it out alive. Look at him. That, that fish, food brings me back too. So, uh, so yeah, if, if you ever think I'm in trouble, uh, put, send me by a couple of hamburger stands and I think I'll be all right. Okay, so uh, we're gonna close up our, our last music and movement. But uh, it's okay, we're gonna continue our programming um, as soon as we can, guys. I'm, I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with us and we're doing everything we can to support you guys. We're so thankful for our patron base and for uh, all, all of you who are watching at home. And I, like I said before, I really hope you guys are getting uh, some enjoyment and hopefully some education out of this. And uh, we'll see you as soon as we can. But we're going to finish up with The More You Read Together and See You Later, Alligator. Okay? Let's put your hands together like a book. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to put the last words up on the screen, act like the animals you're singing about, and uh, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Playing, singing, oh, let me play the right notes. See you later, alligator, bye, bye, butterfly. Thanks for watching. We'll see you alligators later.